Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cooking. I'm your host, Stacey Simfukwe, and today we are gonna be making a stir fry vegetable with noodles, with udon noodles. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing I wanna do is show you guys what we're using to cook with. So today we're gonna be using all the vegetables here on my chopping board. We're gonna be cooking with sesame seed oil, soy sauce, five Asian five spice. This is some sliced garlic, some sliced onions, mushrooms, sugar snap peas, broccoli, uh, sliced bell peppers, some green onion or scallions, um, and some carrots. So, and over here I have my udon noodles and it's covered with a wet paper towel to keep it moist because we don't want it drying out and then it's not gonna be the best. So the first thing we're going to do, since all of our vegetables are prepped, ordinarily you would slice up all your vegetables, um, but you can go to the store and find it already pre-sliced for you. So what we're going to do is we are going to heat our pan. Now, you could use canola oil, you could use vegetable oil. I'm using sesame seed oil because that's more of the traditional oil that you would use for a stir fry. Um, the best thing about stir fry is that Stir fry is the technique of cooking and it uses very little oil. So I use, I probably poured about a tablespoon of oil into my pan and I'm letting it heat up, moving it around, I'm letting it heat up in the pan. And the first thing I'm doing is flavoring my pan by putting my onions in first. And there's a little bit of a sizzle, not a big sizzle. I'm using my tongs. Um, I've seen people use these giant chopsticks to kind of flip over the vegetables and everything. But we're going to be using tongs. And you can see my pan is kind of shaped like a wok. But if you don't have a wok, that is perfectly okay. Just use a really big pan, a wider pan. Um, especially if you have an electric stove. You want to make sure that your pan, um, that all the, the heat can meet Every, the, that can be, um, you want the heat to be even in your pan. So we're gonna go ahead and toss this around. And what you don't want is for your vegetables to be super crunchy. So you wanna cook your onions until it's a little translucent, which means kind of like soft, not super soft. It still maintains its shape. And next we're gonna add our mushrooms. Now, when you clean your mushrooms, it's always best to clean your mushrooms with a wet paper towel because if you clean your mushrooms, like if you dunk it in water, mushrooms are like little sponges. And what they do is it absorbs all the flavor of whatever you have in the pan. So if you soak it in water, your mushrooms will become waterlogged and now it just tastes like water. So we're gonna toss our mushrooms in here. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my peppers. I'm gonna do a little cleaning right here, moving things out my way. And y'all, y'all have to smell this. It smells amazing right now. I'm smelling the onions, I'm smelling my mushrooms. Everything is coming together really, really well. We're tossing everything together. Look at all the colors, it's beautiful. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add my carrots. And you can cook it in whatever order you want to go in. I just have a method to my madness. So I like to cook uh, my vegetables one by one, combine them together. And like I said, I don't like my vegetables to be super soft. I like it to have that bite. And y'all can see like the steam coming out of the pan. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty, y'all. All righty, I think we're ready for the next vegetable. We're gonna go ahead and add our broccoli. I know a lot of people are not broccoli fans. I love broccoli. Broccoli has that beautiful uh, 
you know, that gr I love the green of the broccoli. I love the color. And the flavor is amazing. So we're going to toss that around. Look at all of that. And stir fry, like I said, stir fry is when you are cooking vegetables in very little oil and at a high heat. So whatever oil you use, you want to make sure that it's an oil that can handle high heat. You know, olive oil is not really the best oil to use because um, olive oil can turn toxic if it's cooked at a higher temperature. And that's the one thing you don't want. So sesame seed oil is great. Um, canola oil, vegetable oil, even corn oil. Those are all great oils to cook this in. So we're going to toss that. And now we're going to add my last bit of vegetables, which is my sugar snap peas. There's no rules to your stir fry. Whatever feels good to you, that's what you put in the pan. I've seen really excellent stir fries with like three vegetables and it was wonderful. We're going to toss that around. Look at that, that's so pretty. You guys, I'm telling you, you have to eat your colors. Look how pretty that looks. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. And a little bit of five spice. And I'm actually gonna add my garlic last because my garlic, um, I don't want it to burn. So I'm gonna add my garlic last. And so the five spice has like cinnamon in it, it has cardamom, it has white pepper, it has all kinds of uh, delicious spices. It has that sweet and that sour. There's even a little bit of chili powder in there. Wonderful. All righty. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our delicious vegetables and we are going to toss this onto our plate. Look at that. Now it's not going to be on here permanently. We're going to go ahead and turn on our heat again. We're going to add a little more oil in here. And like I said, probably about one or two tablespoons. And I'm going to add my green onions or my scallions. I'm going to move that around. Like I said, I'm flavoring my, my pan. I love flavoring my pan. And now I'm going to add my udon noodles. And like I said, I had it covered with a wet paper towel because I didn't want my noodles to dry out. And with this, I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my soy sauce. We're just gonna cook that down just a little bit. We're warming up our noodles. And this very easily could be a one pot meal. Just make sure that when you cook your noodles, you rinse it with cold water to stop the cooking process or else you'll have like super mushy noodles. And I don't think anybody wants mushy noodles. And so now I'm going to take the rest of my, my vegetables and I'm going to toss that in together. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm going to go back to my tongs. I'm going to turn this heat down. 
So I think everything is together in the pool. Otherwise known as the pan. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this back on my dish. And look at that beautiful vegetable in noodle stir fry. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? You can make this at home yourself. It's very easy. It's very, very quick for us to whip this up. And the best part about this is it's healthy. Very little oil and lots and lots of vegetables. So if you want to see more recipes like that, go to household6catering.com or you can follow me on Instagram under the underscore HH6. Thank you guys for tuning in and remember to simply cook.